On to challenge number two, televisions. Well, you weren't surprised you learned that my foreign offering is from Samsung. Unsurprisingly, because Samsung is the biggest TV manufacturer in the world. And while some of their sets cost thousands of pounds, this particular 50-inch one comes in at a very reasonable price. What are we going to watch? Something supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Mary Poppins? <laughs> this test is all about picture and sound quality, using the TV's out-of-the-box default settings. It's a full 4K HDR high dynamic range picture, so uh, lots of detail in the blacks, nice wide colour gamut. What do you think? I actually find the whole thing to be a bit dark, but I can't argue that the picture is a lovely quality. It's nice and crispy. It's also got 20 watts of sound in there, mm. two built in full range speakers. I actually find the sound quality really impressive. For the price point, I think the sound is a, is a big win there, actually. A strong start from the opposition. Let's see how my British offering stands up. All the way from County Durham. Let me introduce you to the cello. You may not have heard of cello, but they've been around for over 20 years and offer a wide range of models. This 50-inch one is towards the top of their range, but it costs barely £400, so cello are all about value for money. It has the same 4K resolution as the Samsung. However, it doesn't have HDR at its disposal. I don't think the picture's as good. No. It's got richer colours, the Samsung. It's handling motion a bit better. And although the cello is brighter on its standard settings, it is a touch grainy. Well, let's talk about sound then, because it has the same 20 watt output being channeled through two speakers. It's not doing as much with its 20 watts, is it? It's actually really quite hard to hear and it's fully turned up. I think it really is wanting. You're going to need a sound bar with that. Yeah, I have to agree. So, with a disappointing sound from my cello and a less than impressive picture, the TV round goes to the Samsung, meaning the international tech levels the score at one apiece with just one round to go.